Alright, hello and welcome to another E-Rev Call of E4 Cats. It's going to be Imperium versus Finesse. We are on Map Crossfire. This is the Sebo Upper Bracket Semi-Finals or Finals. Not sure. I uh, didn't quite clarify that with uh, Imperium or Finesse. And I'm just too dumb to know. Uh, tonight with me on the mic is going to be Devin. Devin, how are you doing for this Monday night Call of Duty 4? You know, it's kind of interrupting in my Monday Night Football! But it is okay nonetheless, because I am excited <laughs> for this match. It is, of course, like you said, Finesse and Imperium. Just, you know, doing cocaine, getting ready for this match. You know, excited, just having my heart racing, beating... Oh, it's it's intense. It is too, too intense. Oh, definitely on some kind of drugs, Devin. You're never this hyper, and when you are... Actually, you're never like this. Uh, Oliver <laughs> is the... Is the uh, is the uh, mascot, but he's gonna get kicked in a second, probably. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Get raped. We tried it. We tried it. Anyways, it's like I said, finesse versus Imperial on Crossfire. You know, so definitely Worst map in the game. See. That's all. I disagree. I think Vacant is probably it's become the worst map, in my opinion. But that's just my. Some people love Vacant. Vacant makes... Some people hate Vacant. Vacant makes some people love Crossfire. Bad people look people... like their Evo P All Stars. So they make you look like you're good. I get it. I, I get it. Now. But anyways, I want to see from this good, matchup. So who do you? Who do you talking about? <laughs> who do you? Who do you see taking this one, Devin? Um, you know, it's kind of tough because you know, I love Vaughn, I love Porch Monkey, but I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna say finesse skill wise in general. Could have to go with finesse. Thirteen to eleven. Thirteen to. 13-11, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, I thought you said 13 too. What? I don't know what I'm and hearing. I'm you say I'm it. doing drugs, clearly. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, so, I'm going to have to go with a 13-11, but I want it on the opposite side. We had a we had a chance to scrim these guys, Imperium. Uh, we did kind of... They, they sh we got a couple rounds at first, Destroy. but then they just adapted to our play style, and they beat us, you know. It happens to the best. The best get beat sometimes. In this situation, the worst got beat. Beat, and that's just me making fun of myself. But I definitely expect, uh, you know, this Vlacky guy to uh, do it off with that SMG. I've heard a little bit about him, you know, from my event, as well as uh, a couple of others. But from that finesse side, I definitely see, you know, Reflex, you know, not a familiar face for that finesse team. Do you think that's going to have any any real pull way for finesse here? Um, most definitely will be on top for this team, I believe. Maybe Colton, who is C, coming in at a... Uh... He's going to be MG, and he's just a monster MG. He's phenomenal with that MG, and I haven't seen this finesse team play on Crossfire at all, so I really don't know what they're bringing to the table. But I am going to say it's going to be up to Reflex and Colton for this match going up against Imperium. Yeah, but now I'm just waiting on a very long ready up, if you ask me. imperium has got three players, so now it's got four. Don't know what they're sorting out. Smoke tree shots. Maybe they're just preparing for that awesome knife round, or what is this? Yeah, this is knife round. I'm so confused now with CG doing that Diva round. Sometimes I don't want to feel like an idiot, yeah, but... I'm on drugs. This is just... I don't even know. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't want to look stupid, so we're definitely doing a knife round. This is indeed... Sebo. I want a bash so round. round. I want a bash round. A bash round. A pistol game. bash. Pistol bash round, you should say. Definitely, definitely a pistol bash on another regular bash. It's regular bash is gay. All about that pistol, rack, pistol bash for captain, captain of the awesome Pug Cod Two that we play, and and yeah, Bobcat gave up on the demo database, which I told him was a bad idea. I told him he should have just got the best demo from the best player of the match. I mean, we've seen we've seen other people do that. I mean, we've seen some other companies. God frag, I mean, just I prefer saying. to see a five but, bomb. Demo, but that just means yes. Yeah, I mean, if Bobcat wants to show us a five bomb demo, then the Bobcat, <laughs> that's gonna be great. Like, thanks for all that. And finesse now, waiting for the all of them to ready up. You know, I haven't been on the mic in a little while. Well, a little while is like a week for me, maybe two, because my myself and I'm sick. I was sick. I'm not sick anymore though. So awesome, but I'm still have a bedtime because I wake up at like 5 in the morning. I don't want to go to bed at 12 and 1, dude. That's that's just not me. And we're going to get this knife round underway. Uh, drug. Let's see what happens on this knife round. I, I don't really... No, well, knife rounds are sort of... Uh, they're really dull to cast unless you got some guy that just awesomely aces. 
the entire team or makes it a clutch, you know. Definitely the fun part of knife round. I mean, it's always fun knifing, but casting knife... I'd rather just cast, like, five people line up and throwing knife, like a Civil War based... I don't know. It'd be cool. It'd be a lot cooler. Well, why are you throwing out the Civil War thing? After the last time we cast it, I'd love to see a COD Civil War. Why are you uh, throwing this out there? I'm a you said more. that? Are you... It was a you don't remember I'm not even, that? It was the oh, Imperium wow. cast, and then you like disappeared for that cast. Like I just don't remember. Oh. Uh, yeah, how am I supposed to remember it? I wasn't there, Devin. Because <laughs> I don't you remember that. Anyways, and think you were there. You were there. What are you talking about? Ah. I was there, and then I left. That's pretty before it started. All right, anyways, Porch Monkey doing a big. We got three knife kills on it, and they're gonna take Four. that one. Four. Sorry, shoot me in the head. Didn't see it. Anyways, we're gonna see what side uh, finesse picks, and I don't know, Devin. Devin. I don't, I don't know about you, Devin. I don't know, I don't know what happened tonight. They're gonna take that attack. <laughs> I don't have they're smart. Yep, they do. Decide, yep. Which is the That's right way no to go. That's no surprise, though. On this map against uh, Loaded and our sports play this map tonight, and Loaded absolutely destroyed. That was in that CSN final, by the way, which Loaded did absolutely murder our sports, taking the map. Yeah. I think it was like 13 to 5, I believe. But one thing you did notice on this map, and if you do play this game, which I'm, I would imagine everyone watching the cast do play this game, is it's. I think it's almost nearly impossible to plant that B at that B bomb site if you don't plant it at the start of the round. Yeah, exactly right. I'm gonna go ahead and get off give us a roster rundown for that offensive side, which is gonna be Finesse, we have Kennedy, Joshua Colton, Porch Monkey, and Reflex on Imperium we have Flacky, 97 Mayhem, Jack Boss. Awesome with the names. God, I didn't see that one coming until I actually started doing it. And we're waiting on Bobcat to ready up. Uh, for some reason we'll get this round underway. Uh, we're gonna see how Finesse uh, what finesse doth it on offensive side? They're gonna have Joshua scoping. We're gonna keep eyes on him, see if he can do anything right off the back of the round. I definitely expect a little bit from him there. Sorry, a little bit of a burst there, but Joshua go right for the calf pick. So pretty standard play, and maybe some smoke spam. Yep, no luck though. Shoots two bullets and gives up, and kind of fires a weird looking nade towards that middle. Not sure where that was going. Uh, man, taking some bullets. Then the first. Frag of the night is going to be reflex into seven. I'm not sure what that is. I'd like them to clarify, but I doubt they are going to clarify who that is. And now Imperium getting the first frag of their match there. It's like he's going to be able to find a uh, point. It's a four on four situation. Finesse move again. Uh, they need to get that bomb down to possibly defeat Imperium. Oh, Flacky taking down Kennedy for a bad mistake with that assault. And Flacky looking for maybe a third here, but reflex getting tagged up. Doesn't know where that shot's coming from. Joshua on to Flacky though. With that Desert Eagle, and it's now a 3-on-3 three three situation. Reflex taking a couple of bullets, but people will read and be in that cafe. Oh, cannot take down Mayhem. Mayhem lives. I don't know how he lived there, but he does. And now he's stuck in that corner. Jack Boss able to find Colton. It's a 2-on-3 situation. The one-man advantage is now going to an Imperium. Uh, we got Reflex on that bomb, though. So that could be a game-changer there. And Reflex sprinting across that street, using a little straight sprint. Goes a little bit faster in my opinion. What I've seen so far. Now, Imperium... Just playing defense, playing solid defense, and that should pick him off this round. I mean, Reflex could push over. Oh, Joshua's going to find a uh, 9 there with that scope shot. All the ruins. It's 2 on 2, but Reflex goes down. Joshua with another frag. That's going to get 2. Can he finish it off with another? Whoa. No. Jack Boss. Wow, what a beautiful round. I, I do believe that was around 3 kills towards the end of that round, Devin. Yeah, as it's uh, for Imperian, Jack Boss, who is Italian Boss? and Blackie there, picking up all the kills there for Imperium. But in those, let's watch Joshua here. He is a great scope, and I'd like to see what he can do here on this crossfire map. It's just one huge street, and you can scope across it or down it and anything, and you can do anything. But, oh, there's seven with a double nade kill there. On to P-Monkey and Joshua and Blackie did find a nade earlier in that round. So there's only going to be two tangles left for this Imperium side. Make that one enemy tangle now as it's all up to Kennedy here. He does have that bomb. He does have the SMG. He is in Watermelons. He does have an AK-47 as well. So he's just stacked on the gun situation. He will tag up Blackie, but he will not land that kill. But he will find Mayhem, and Blackie will find him with that AK-47. So quick 2-0 start here for this Imperium side. Yep, and as you can see, you know, you you expected Finesse to come up uh, on top of this one, I believe. All right. That's fine. You did think Finesse was going to come out on top, but so far, they got two out. You know, maybe it takes time for Finesse to adapt to their playstyle, but Mayhem finally on a reflex. One SMG already down uh, for Finesse, but Colt on a seven to even things out. It's a four on four situation. Moving in is now Blackie Torrens, that bottom bike area. Not going to find any Jack Boss with another Frank this time. 
Going to take down Kennedy and Colton on a Viking. Colton playing well in that light area with that assault. It's a three-on-three -three situation. Uh, so very even play here from both teams. We're getting down to very close numbers besides that last round. That last round was like four versus one. And now Finesse looking to get the bomb down. And Josh, who won't find the frag on the jackpot. That's going to help out. It's a two-on-three situation. Uh, now Mayhem and Nine going up against Colton, Porch Monkey, and Joshua. Mayhem in that cafe area. Can't spot anyone, though, with his assault. He's going to have to worry about uh, Porch Monkey on the other way on that lockers. They're playing really defensive, playing really far back spots, if you can see. You now Imperium's going to have a tough time picking up this round at all. There's Nine, which I actually do believe is Kellogg's with a frag on a Colton. It's a two on two situation now. 15 seconds on the clock. Gonna go for the fuse, and Porch Monkey heard that one should be able to make the peak. 11 seconds. They should have gone for the full, in my opinion. Oh, Joshua through the smoke. Little mayhem. A little bit of smoke there, but takes him out. And Joshua again. Wow, Joshua. I do believe that was a hat trick on the round, and just great play. And Joshua able to pick up that round. Yeah, pretty much. He started out 6 and 2 here with that scope for this one. That side. Great play so far, but you know, let's, let's switch it up. Let's go. Let's follow 7, who I believe. Is Vaughn, I could be wrong, but I do think it is Vaughn. Let's follow him, he does have that SMG, he's gonna be playing towards that, uh, that B side there, but Blackie will get naded by P by Porch Monkey here. So it looks like Seven here is just gonna play it really passive here, down in this A, a side area. Make sure they're really not gonna be pushing. I'm gonna really switch over to Reflexes, he's playing even slower as he's just now making his way into light, but Kennedy did find Seven from that top A area, so Kennedy looks like they're just gonna fake that bomb, wait for the nades to come off, and Porch will be putting down this plant now, I believe, as the smoke's up, and he will be able to get this bomb down. It's all up to Nine and Jack Boss going up against all members of this finesse side as they are just charging through. As Nine is back in that, back in that uh, ruins area, but he will get taken down from that headshot from Reflex. So, ground there for finesse as they tied it back up two to two. Saline. Yeah, now the billion dollar question is: Did finesse indeed adapt to Imperium's play style after just two rounds? You know, that's definitely. A play style of a champion if you can adapt that quickly to how someone plays, you know. Uh, but it's too early to call if anybody has adapt to anything. I mean, man, I'm taking a pull off the round. I don't know who sent it, but he definitely took one. And Reflex going to find Flacky. And a uh, nice frag with Jack Boss on a Kenny. And Jack Boss doing a fix. Already following him. Mayhem on a Porch Monkey, though. And Colton's going to find seven, so it's a three on three situation. Jack Boss sitting on that bottom A area with an AK 47. Oh, Joshua. The scope shot onto uh, nine there, and Jack Boss is now stuck in bottom A. Reflex taking a couple of bullets there, but Jack Boss on a reflex. Very nice play. Uh, great uh, crossfire by Mayhem and Jack Boss to be able to get that easy frag on a reflex. And now Joshua looking to go for the plant, going to plant next to that bus. Mayhem on the cold. Mayhem can he find another one here? No, Joshua with a great plant spot. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to see where he's planting, but oh, Jack Boss had the opportunity to finish the round. No, can't. Oh. Joshua, what a beak! That is if he takes him out, no problem. Can he pick up this clutch? And, uh, you know, if you're Jack Boss, you got to be feeling bad. Oh, Joshua! Wow, how did they let the man who took three bullets from AK-47 turn into a clutch? Uh, Devin? I believe it was because Reggie Bush just got hurt, and he was just carried off the field, but that's besides the point. Great round <laughs> again here, coming out of Joshua, as he's already 9-2. Kind of not really carrying this team. I mean, you do have Colts at a four and four, and Reflex at a three and four right now. But Jack Boss for his other team is six and three. Definitely had the chance to do something there. But Porch Monkey with that AK-47 will go into seven as it, already, as it is an early four on five already. As nine there did spot a man rushing towards that B side, unable to land that scope shot though. As another headshot here out of Colton will take down Mayhem. So it is a three on five now. For this Empyrean side, they need to do something. Kennedy with that bomb will go for the plant on top of the bomb. Looks like no nades are going to land, and they will get an easy plant. <laughs> but he will get taken down by Blackie there. Through the wall, I believe that was. So it is a one on one on four now. Sorry about that. All for Blackie as he is in that Melon's area. He's just going to finally get taken down by Reflex here. I don't know if you saw that, Devin, but Colton got the scope on his in midair with like two AK-47 bolts. But off of that, how about we head to Finesse's Warm to see if they can keep, keep this momentum. Oh. I'm a plus zero. I need. I need smoke. One's either bottom here, but wood stairs, wood. One's over by bottom A, by the cars. Try to get it down. If you can get it down, we win. If you can get it down, we win. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't He's die. He's got it down. One like side cow. Fuck. Don't die. 
getting up top. It's that tire. Oh Alien my bike. god. Bike, 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 bike. What's your bike? What's your bike? Push your mid road. Ah, oh, push your mid road, man. What's your bike? Yeah. Come on. We gotta Defense. hide, though. We gotta hide when bombs down. You're right. Well, you're 42. Right. I mean, we could have. No, what? Explosives diffused. Alright, we are back. Even though Kennedy able to pick up a double nade, it seems Jack Boss able to get that defuse there. And Finesse got to feel a little bit upset about that one. I was just there around. I mean, then again, it was Imperium's round just last round when uh, Joshua was able to pull off that clutch. So, back onto this one. Going to be following uh, Nine, uh, who has Kellogg's, I do believe, trying to pick through that smoke there. No luck again, and Colden on a mayhem. So, this map is all about smoke control and map control, in my opinion. You know, if you can get up on those uh, great spots like Joshua has with uh, with his scope, and Colden's going to find Blackie. And seven right back on him, though, and Kennedy finds nine there as he's trying to walk into that uh, set, uh, bottom A, sorry. And it looks like Finesse trying to go with that bomb, but Jack Boss able to find Porch Monkey Joshua. Free firing with the Desert Eagle, but Jack Boss finds a, a little bit of redemption from Jack Boss there as he failed uh, during that one versus two by Joshua. What's a one on two situation now for Kennedy? Kennedy almost picked up the round. Four for Finesse, Joshua, the devil may pull. Oh. Jack Boss, could you, did you see that? That's a great play. Right, Jack Boss definitely the top player from Imperium. The only reason, in my opinion, they've won four rounds so far. Well, it is all tied up 4 4, and uh, I'm expecting probably a, just a 6 6 half. It's a fairly even map if you can uh, if you have the good strats for it. And obviously, these teams both have great strats for it here. And that's probably one of the main reasons why they've made it this far in this upper bracket. So I'm watching Joshua. He's going to get tagged by a nade. Nothing too serious, though. He's got this deagle out, and he's just going to fire one shot off. Nothing too. Uh, Fancy there, but he did spot that SMG, but Reflex did fall to Kellogg's scope shot there. So just a 4 on 5, Kennedy getting tagged up. Where is Kennedy at? As he does have that bomb, looks like he's back hanging out towards that Elter and areas that are just really playing slow. Uh, there goes Joshua does fall to Kellogg's scope, so that's definitely going to hurt this round here. Because Joshua is Finesse's top fragger. So does a 3 on 5, what is Finesse going to do in this situation? Now it is a 2 on 5, Empyrean just picking them off one by one as it seems like in this round, as it's all up to Piemont and Kennedy, as Porch Monkey is in that, is in that uh, B-side area, Watermelon, he did find 7 though, to kind of make this a little bit easier for them, at 2 on 4 now, Jack Boss, Mayhem, Kellogg's, and Blackie here, oh, as Blackie gets taken down by Piemont, so Piemont is just doing work this round, taking down two members from this Empyrean side, but, but oh, there he goes, 9 with a wonderful shot there, on to Porch Monkey, so it's all up to Kennedy here, once again, where is he, he is at this, still at this bottom light l turn area, not making any pro progress, and there goes Kellogg's with another kill this round. Well, and it cleans it up, so it is a 5-4 to four lead here for Imperium. Definitely. Let's go to Imperium, uh, Imperium's war room, if they take the lead. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, Got one in the way. Got I'm in bus nice. right now. I'm in bus. Alright. I'm dumped already. I don't have a nade. One's bottom uh, bike. Top light, scope, scope. Shoot, bottom bike tags. Bottom bike tag. He dropped. Well oh, done. Well done. In bike start. Bottom bike. Two up, scope still up. We'll get picked from they're bike. They're all over L turn. Just stay alive, bot. Going, on the he's bus. going into apartments and light. He's, he's pushing me back, A, eh, I think. This one. Still on bike. Yeah, yeah, he's, in a. A. he's in A, yeah. Top A, I think. He's at the A bomb, I think. He's not gonna go. He might fake it, watch out. Explosives planted. Ah.
Let's try it. Really? Oh, like oh, we are back, and Joshua, wow. Just looked like an aimbot with that AK-47. He had such good aim there. I don't know. Really didn't know Joshua coming into the season, but now we know all about him. Definitely a great player. And just picked up a 1 versus 3 class. That actually happened. Uh, so it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. And, you know, Joshua doing it again. You know, picking up another clutch and keeping fast, in my opinion, in this one. Reflex is going to find Blackie off the round uh, with that car bomb there. And it's a 4 on 5 situation. One to two men down now for appearance. Reflex with another fragment in the deck box before Mayhem finds him. No, so Reflex having a dominating performance, but definitely uh, doing his share. It's a two on three situation though. Uh, Finesse has that man advantage. And appearing I'm looking up around Kennedy and the bomb down. And in my opinion, this is going to be all Finesse on this round. Unless, oh, Kellogg's finds Colton there. I want to see if Kellogg's can do any more to help out uh, Seven as he pushes in. Towards that B bomb site, maybe help him get a fuse to stop that scope, in my opinion. Kennedy is going to be able to find seven. It is all up to Kellogg. The pressure's on. And around 20 seconds left on that clock. Joshua and Kennedy, uh, like I said earlier, are going up against now Kellogg's. Not going to find a gun at 15 seconds on the clock. I don't think he's got this one. He's going to have a double peek as soon as he goes for that defuse. Maybe he can defuse under the bus. A little to the left. Oh, the nade goes out anyways, and the nade is no oh. good. He might be able to get this defuse. No! <laughs> it is 6 5. And, uh,. Nice try by uh, uh, by Kellogg's there, Devin. Great try by Kellogg's there, and he's really stepped it up these past couple rounds here for his Imperian side, getting a, a considerable amount of kills every round here, and really stepping it up, just hunting him down like a Wolverine. Really, I have to say that one for no miss there, because I do love him oh so much being on 50 cal with me. But there's couple, there's nade kills going off here with the car bomb, but oh, there's Bond's gonna be getting the better of them there. He's picking up two kills as Joshua's already the last man, last man standing really as he's planning at this B site here, getting the bomb down rather quick. As it was a extremely fast run. He does have his D guy, he does have a scope with him. It looks like they are all just gonna surround him and he's gonna get tagged up and there he goes, he will fall. So it is a six six half. Wonderful half nonetheless though here on for this match. Explosive definitely, reviews. definitely a great half, and you gotta want to be wondering what happened to Finesse. You know, that attack, my opinion, straight out, and a lot of people's opinions, is the easier side on this map to let go six rounds on attack. You know, that's kind of weird. Most maps, that defensive side is the easier side, but that doesn't count this map. Uh, but just great play out of Imperium, in my opinion. You know, like you said, Jack Boss really stepped it up in the beginning, and Kellogg's wasn't doing so hot with it, a 5 and 6, and now. Made his way to a 12 and 8, so he, he told me earlier that he's always been bad uh, when he's been casted, but that's alright. He's doing mighty fine so far, and we're just waiting for everybody to get rid of up. That includes you, Mr. Oliver D. You French faggot, if he's AFK, just somebody get, somebody get him to kick him. Alright, he's not AFK. I got a shout out from Pizza to Let's Go Giants. We're winning on Sunday, even though we did get crushed by the Colts. Alright, then, cool. uh, all about them uh, Giants. No, I disagree. And also a shout out from Pizza to Aiden Brown Brown. Uh, definitely one of the best starting whatever gun he plays now. I don't even know. I don't really care. Way to get this started. So, do you see anything changing? Has your results changed? Uh, nope. Kesha, aka Devin. Kesha, babe. I don't care what you say. But oh, everything's going to be the same. 13 11 finesse. Hands down, they win. Alright, kind of you know, risky. Like, I definitely have Imperium winning just because of that great play uh, on the defense. Able to pick up that many rounds, you know. The Italian boss is definitely doing his share and all that. Also, while we're sitting at this halftime, might as well go ahead and throw at you the, the e rev Facebook, and Twitter. Like us and follow us. We need more friends. We need more followers. Do it, do it, do it if you want to support Call of Duty in any way, shape, or form because, you know, we're basically, at the moment, we're the only ones that really seem to be casting Call of Duty 4, which is kind of upsetting if you ask me, but not a lot. There actually has been a lot of matches, so I catch my words there before I say them. There have been a lot of matches, lots of finals, CSN, Cyber Games, uh, and SIVO, so all that good stuff. And I'm definitely rooting for Black Ops. You know, <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work, but it's going to work, hopefully, and maybe we're going to get I'm this I'm rooting for Civil War. Un Civil War, okay. That would have been a great game. But anyway, got to get this one started. We're going to see what Imperium does on that offensive side. going to watch Catalogs. Last time we watched it, it didn't do so hot, but it's doing hot now. So maybe he'll turn this uh, turn this round 
into his round, uh, gonna go ahead and throw a nade, it looks like, towards that middle cafe area. Not sure, more towards the middle of the spam scope, smoke, uh, spam through smoke, sorry, and Jack Poss open up around with that nade, auto reflex. And seven gonna find Colton, it's a three on four situation, as Kennedy finds Blackie there, and Jack Boss with another frag. So carrying over, even on the offensive side, is Jack Boss. That Boss looking for maybe a third, though. Uh, seven able to find him, and Kellogg's, oh wow, I don't know how he missed that shot there. But uh, seven on to Joshua, so gotta be a little upset we watched <laughs> on that one. Not sure how I missed it, but it's gonna be seven six in favor of now Imperium. Yeah, surprising around there is Kellogg's did miss an easy shot, but hey, that's how it goes with the scope. You could hit the most impossible shots, but when, when it comes to the easiest shots, it's just, you whiff on it. It happens all the time. I, I would know. I've been on the receiving end. But anyways, I'm following Joshua as he's trying to spam through smoke, but there is a plus 10 out of Colton here, but he will get taken down by Jack Boss, who has just been getting kills here on each side of this map, like you said before, Saline, and just finding pretty much whatever he can and just having his way on this map. But so has Joshua's. That's why it's been such a close map. I mean, these two have been great players throughout this entire map. I'm following Jack Boss here, though. He's a, he is in the bike with that MG. What can he do here in this situation? He thinks there's one back A, which there is. He did spot the scope back there. He will get tags on him, but no kill. Uh, as that's going to hurt us, they definitely do want to get this bomb down. But Kennedy will fall to Mayhem now. As you do have Reflex here pushing in, will take down Mayhem. He's going to push around on that B bomb site, getting aggressive. He's not going to get a kill, but Jack Boss will fall. And then P Monkey will go into Jack Boss, so it is all up to nine here. Who is Kellogg's? Trying to find those other enemy tangos here. Who is Joshua and P, P Monk? Bomb is down. Finesse should know the bomb is there. As you do have P Monk just hanging out here back in this B alley area, just proning down right over, right underneath that broken wall. And you do have Joshua watching that, uh, that goes out towards that B alley. So they definitely do have this set up. 20 seconds left on the clock. Where is 9 at now? He is making his way finally to go grab that bomb. Will Joshua get a scope shot on him here as he unscoped? Oh, as Joshua will hit the shot finally there. Is it 7 7 all tied up once again, Saline? Yeah, and I do have an urgent shout-out from Magic. He says, uh, Kraka and Stomp are the best around, and no one's ever going to take him down. Just added that little uh, extra part there, so it is 7-7. Seven, seven. A very close game, the ones we like to see him I mean, is up wreck finals. Anything is possible, Devin. You know, we could see somebody pull away, or we could be going into an overtime. 7 and Blackie trying to pick up around for Imperium. Double nades going off and around the Joshua. A to pick up Jack Boss. That's going to help him out a little bit, but in my opinion, not enough for Imperium to be able to run right over. Uh, this finesse defense, I mean, it looks like they already capitalized on it, and I do believe that plan is now going down. Uh, Reflex is going to find Kellogg's, and it's still a 3-on-3, three three, so very doable for finesse here. Uh, you got Kennedy pushing in with that SMG, and Seven's going to find a frag, but Kennedy, sort of bait frag, but maybe pick off the round with the Reflex with, whoa, <laughs> Reflex! Beautiful SMG play, that's going to be able to, the no sweat to view, and Reflex deserves that round. Wow, I do believe that's a hat trick. Amazing play. Why reflex? I don't know how Finesse got that round, Devin. Well, I wasn't sure what to what Mayhem was really doing. He was just kind of chilling there on that A site, really not moving away from it at all. Which was, I think, in my personal opinion, was just was really bad play. And he should have tried to move out of there as quick as he possibly could after that bomb went down and gave his team a better chance of picking up that round. But Finesse did pick up that round nonetheless. And he was they will take the lead by one round. So I'm following Mayhem here. He is the designated bomb carrier for this Imperial site. Is he? Is going to span through the wall there inside that Melons area. He's not going to be able to find a kill, but Seven and Jack Boss will find kills of their own. P Monk will fall to Black. Will fall to Blackie. Kennedy will fall to Seven. So does A2 on four. Now make that A1 on four as Kennedy once again, or Joshua is yeah. one, the last member standing. He has made a considerable amount of clutches here tonight. Can he clutch this one up though? Bomb is down. And that's definitely not what you want to see. And there goes Jack Boss pushing, being aggressive with that 74U, picking up the kill. Eight to eight. All tied up once again. And let's fly right into Imperium's war room here. I thought they caught war room for that. I'm going to cafe. Cafe. Watch your bike, watch your bike. He's Bialy. He's B Bottom man. Sculpture. Big man's boot. 
Yeah, I'll be down. Oh, that's my intent. What's this cafe for sure? What's that? He, he, he's, he's in bike. He's in bike. Oh my god, he came up. Where's this guy be out? One up, one up. This guy played in cafe. Cafe. Nice shot. Nice. Oh, right, and we are back. So, Imperium able to make it 9 8. Imperium's taking the lead. And maybe, just maybe. They will pick up uh, the rest of these rounds. I mean, it's definitely a possibility. A little bit of re uh, recovery play out of Reflex, as you notice. He got to pick the last round. Not much, but doing that, that second place uh, for Fanassi. 13 14. Not the greatest, oh but Kellogg's God. over the round. Oh, and to Porch Monkey. Uh, nice pick, and it's going to be a 4 on 4 situation. Reflex with another frag from oh, all Kellogg's. Gets his second frag. It's a Desert Eagle on a Reflex. Lots of frag going down. Can't even blank. He's 7 on a Joshua. Somehow ends up as a two on three finesse down a member. <laughs> Kennedy finds seven. Oh, Kennedy with two. Kennedy gonna get a frag highlight there. It's two kills for him. It's a one on two situation now. It's all up to a man. We're gonna see if Kennedy can push up the round with a hat trick. That would be pretty nice uh, to put on his uh, match resume for the night. He's got Kennedy around that corner. It's about 55 seconds on the clock. But come Colton finds the frag. It is nine nine, and no team has given up. Uh, Devin. No, absolutely not. But before we get into this round, I do have a very special and amazing shout here from Noma. Shout out Wolverines! Anyways, we will get into this round now, finally, as it's just starting. Joshua here, I want to follow him, see what he's going to do with that scope. Can he hit a shot through that light wall? Possibly, I don't know, it's a great pick. If you can hit it, as he did spot one going back, he's unable to... He did, he did possibly tag him, I think, but P-Monk will follow a, will follow a Nate, and the, the bomb is going down. Can they... Are they going to be able to stop this plant by Mayhem near? No, Mayhem will get the bomb down. That's exactly what you want to see. A quick plant going down, and it's working in their favor. It is a three-on-four situation right now here for this finesse side. Can they pick up this round, or is it going to be all for Imperian as Blacky here? He has the scope now, so it's a little uh, change of pace here for this Imperian side. It is a two-on-four now as Colton. Two-on-three now. Sorry about that. As Colton. Oh, Blacky with a great shot onto Kennedy, though, and Jack Boss will go into Colton. So 10-9 in favor of Imperian now, just back and forth sailing. Yep, and no team has given up, like I said. You know, just when you think one team's going to pull away, nope. The other team capitalizes with a round. It's just amazing play out of both teams. You know, I really want to... I want Imperian to come out on top of this one, you know. I, I like... I like Finesse, I like Imperium, I like both teams, but I, I like uh, Imperium a little bit more in there. Kellogg's taking a bullet for the team, and Joshua, even though he tags someone, able to find another frag. Just great sniper play. Look, he's sitting at that uh, that 18-12, which is the best on his team there. Bomb looks like it's going to be going down, maybe, for Imperium, but no, the nade stops Mayhem, so if you're wondering why Mayhem's not doing so hot, he is the bomb carrier. So, on this map, the bomb carrier dies a lot, like, just like that, he got the nade down. I mean, he got the bomb down, but he got naded in and uh, at the same time, Blackie is going to find Kennedy and Jack to boss on a cold. It's a two on three situation. Oh, <laughs> Reflex is on a Jack boss. Destroying the, uh, the, in my opinion, the finesse, finesse. I'm sorry, Imperium. Menace in there is Blackie. Picking off in that middle. So a scope change. You know, Kellogg's was doing good. You know, I'm not sure why they made that change. But uh, Blackie, so far capitalizing. It looks like Joshua's going to go for sort of a ninja defuse there, but I think Nine should be off bottom. No, he's going to maybe get that defuse. No, will he? Will he? No. <laughs> Oh so man, close. Joshua sat on it. You gotta be wondering what just happened to uh, Kellogg's there, and I hate to take a round from you, uh, Devin. But how will we how will we go to finesse Warren to see if they can respond? Wow. Are you? He's in bike. That's one down, melon. melon down. Bike down. I got one. Scope. Am I right, Scope? Yeah, no, no, idea. no. no. <gasps> Where? I'm pre Straight, Straight, I hit him. Alright, let's go. Scope, he's L turn, L turn. Hi. Uh, bike. You bike tagged as shit. Go bike stairs. Bike, bottom bike, bottom bike, bottom bike. Stop peeking, stop peeking. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, we're back now. Joshua did pick up wow. that one. Just barely, though. His black, he was just coming in hot, just destroying finesse there. Double nose was... Yeah. <laughs> Wait there, but just what was there to say? Like you, as he has been this entire match. So let's go ahead and watch Joshua here. He does have that black, or the Black Betty R700, whatever you'd like to call it. A seven falls to a nade earlier, though. Porch Monkey is just absolutely tagged up. I don't know how he did not die. Just hanging on by a little bit of health. But he will get his rejet on because that's just the wonders of COD 4. As he did find a kill there on the nine. So it is a two on five situation here already for Imperium. They are down heavy with a minute 15 seconds left on the clock. So they have plenty of time to work with. Although they are getting pushed and Blackie will fall. So does Optimate Mayhem there at the bottom fragment. And he's just going to fall to Colton here. So it is a 11 11. Is this overtime? I don't say so. I, one's gonna pull away. You know, it's been it's been this close the whole game. It's back and forth, back and forth, oh, one around, one around. But no, I, I still got Imperium going. You know, Joshua is playing up to par. I mean, he's got a reflex behind him with that 17, 18. But that Imperium, if you look at the Imperium side, better scores, and they're on that offense side. All they gotta do is get the bomb down, and they win. And look how fast Kellogg pushes up to the cafe. Gonna find Porch Monkey there, looking for two. Yeah, but Colton's got. Uh, Colton's got a finesse back there and takes down a him, so reflex on a mayhem. It's a three on three situation somehow. And look how close every single one of these rounds are. And Jack Boss, someone we haven't seen in a little while. Uh, not too long. Not some crazy triple frag in, uh, at the least. He did get a single frag there, though, and he, maybe he'll look for more. And that's looking to lose this round. I mean, they're down a member. Not saying they can't come up clutch. I mean, they got Kennedy and Josh. We've seen uh, Kennedy come up clutch. And uh, we have seen Joshua. Also, uh, did say actually I do not believe Kennedy has come up clutch. We have seen Joshua come up clutch about two times matchup, so definitely, in my opinion, the MVP so far for both sides and all Kennedy on the Jack Boss. And it's, they even things out. It's a two on two. Forty seconds on the clock. This round is so important. Whoever wins this round is gonna make one team force the OT or take the win, you know. Can go both ways. Look how smart they're playing, look how slow they're playing. Blackie's gonna prone to the bomb. Haven't seen that in a little while. And he's got Kennedy right outside. Kennedy hurt him. No, Blackie. Perfect turnaround. Joshua Mission. The, the scope shine down. He goes. Imperium has picked it up. It is 12-11. Devin, you get the courtesy, in my opinion, of taking this final round. This could possibly be the final round of the match, or it could be leading into overtime. I don't know what's going to happen here. I am co I am rooting for Finesse to pick up this round here, as they ever so neatly, just to pick it up and go huge this round. And that's going to help as Joshua will find Blackie there. Early and takes down the scope is that's definitely not what you want to see. Colton's going to be getting tagged up, but no kill going down yet. Oh, you're on this finesse side as all five members are still up. So no early nades that are coming out of this nerdy Vaughn who has been nading them with a couple plus tens. But Mayhem did find Kennedy for one of the few kills he does have this match. A seven did find Porch Monkey, so it is a three on four right now. This is a good chance for Imperium to capitalize. But no, there's Reflex on the bomb pretty much. Just playing at that dumpster will find... Nine and there goes Mayhem into Reflex now. So does a two on three. Colton and Joshua. These two are great players, but oh, there's seven into Joshua now. So does all up to Colton here. He does have that AK-47 in that top A house, and there goes oh, seven. He will back up the round and the follow. victory here for Imperium, 13 to 11. Great match though, nonetheless. Sailing. Yeah, I do. Basically, I have a shout out here. I got a shout out from Optics. He basically won to say, one, two, three. This is Imperium. As they're gonna take it, 13, 11. <laughs> over <laughs> finesse just a great matchup and if you guys don't know where that's from you don't know video games but anyways great matchup I I don't believe I have any more shout outs I do have a shout out pizza calling I on a faggot but no, pizza gives me like nine shout outs every single game I don't really think that matter Devin do you have any more shout outs that don't involve Wolverines I, uh, I do have one shout out, out. I do have one shout out it's from Zach aka colors you'd like to make a shout out to the pretty boy swag nation I Got to be there with them, too. I'd like to give a shout-out to them. Hey, and don't hate on the pretty boys. I think we got another pizza shout-out. And, oh, I got a shout-out from Matt. One second. God, I'm getting spammed. Give me one second, Devin. How about you just talk about nothing for a second? Um, still looking for that COD Civil War game. That will probably be the most productive game <laughs> in the COD history. That's of basically course, the news course. from me. A shout-out from Magic 2 Reflex 4 being the worst. I got a shout-out from Oliver, a.k.a. the awesomest mascot there ever was. The mascot mascot. And he is French. Oliver, say hello. Or say goodbye. Sign off for us. Say goodbye. <laughs> Probably not going to do it, but hey, I tried. Anyways, that's going to be all for us to E-Rev. We're going to have much more cast coming up. I have one more shout-out before we finish off. Oh, 
So we just sent it to me right here. Bomber, a shout out to Bombert Wiz from Meister, uh, aka Nick the Best. And that's going to be it. Now whoa, we're whoa, signing whoa, off. I have an, I, whoa, 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 whoa. Last I second have shout another out. shout out. I have another shout out here as I'm getting spammed by Narc here on X Fire. Shout out to Evan Seal. I don't know how to say his last name for not showing up for a match and doing tons of match. Congratulations to Seal for not showing up hey, for the match. And they, they wanted us to cast that match. I think Narc wants us to cast every single match. But, anyways, that's going to be fall off for Erev unless we get a, a 911 call to us for a shout out. Yep, that's going to be all. Stay tuned for more Call of Duty 4 cast going live. Lots of finals coming up, including the real finals of Sebo uh, A. And uh, that's going to be all for myself, Bobcat, Oliver D, and Kesha, a.k.a. Devin.